Hiya! Welcome again to watch my video. Today we're gonna do some crafting. I haven't got so much time to produce new things, so I'm glad now I have a little bit extra time. So I'm gonna do some crafting together with you. I was thinking to start this naked journal I posted the other day. So this, uh, as I mentioned, then this is blank. There's only pages, blank pages. Here are some printables, different kind of pages. So I'm gonna start making this. Now I'm gonna do some embellishing here. This little guy, this I have showed you before too. This is um, the smaller, this is actually done with same technique. This is like pocket size. This is really cute, cute, cute. And uh, here's a lot of different pages too. This one I thought I'm gonna make. I haven't done anything else than what was done when I made this. I think I'm gonna build. Uh, I'm gonna make some uh, quotes here. Maybe write some quotes by hand. Maybe uh, I have some book pages with quotes or life instructions. So I think I'm, a, I'm gonna use some of these. Yeah, but I'm gonna use a little bit. I will start with the naked one. I'm gonna do a little bit. Uh, different things, vintage materials this time. So I have the quotes here. I have this is a gift paper or wrapping paper, and I think I'm gonna cut this as a die. These scissors are amazing. They're not only pretty, but they are sharp and the tip is sharp. They are small, they go into small places. So I use my big scissors when I'm cutting cardstock or paper or something, not so not so uh, detailed I'm not so perfectionist with this one because I always distress the edges anyway which is going to hide some mistakes Or small imperfections. So I don't know if you have heard, but uh, or if you have seen my posts on Instagram, I have, I have uh, another shop I put up in Etsy. I wanted to. I started to have uh, so much vintage stuff also. So I thought uh, that it may be more clear if Donkey Journals is only gonna have some uh, handmade journals and handmade journaling stuff, junk journal things. And the new new shop is Donkey Found Treasures. Do you want to know where the donkey came from? Well, uh, me and my husband were Finnish. We we call each other names, but not like really nasty names, but uh, like dummy and uh, donkey. <laughs> yeah, well, so if someone is a little bit dummy, we call them, uh, we can call them them donkey. And when, okay, here's the die, die cut, cute. So, uh, shall we start from the first page? 
now we have to choose the quotes. Now, actually, I love this one. This is so. Yeah, so the donkey thing. Um, so I'm donkey and he's dummy and uh, yeah, so on. So when I started to make journals, and I, I think I was bullet journaling that time too. And these uh, journals started to be laying around. And my husband had got uh, this uh, demo machine where you can print the uh, little labels. So he was printing those labels uh, secretly and and putting them on my journal somewhere. So when I came and started using it, it, it might have said uh, donkey's diary or donkey's uh, book or journal or what word. Here. I think he used diary. So. When the shop was uh, founded, I just knew it had to be something with the donkey, and I thought donkey journal would be more, more uh, with chunk journals to do. So that's why donkey journals. And um, the other shop, then I think we, I want to leave the little number. So when the other, other shop now, I started to consider putting up another one. I needed to needed a name for the new shop. I wanted it to have a similar name than Donkey Journal, so that people would see the see the connection. And uh, so I wanted the donkey had to be on that one too. And I wanted to describe something what what this shop is selling and what it's about. So it came donkey found treasures because that's actually what happened. I'm donkey and uh, I started to find treasures and I started to find so much treasures that I wanted to share them to others too and I can't have them all here. So that's why donkey found treasures. Okay, learn the rules, then break them. These are really nice uh, journals to use because these are flexible. This is this is still uh, like traveler's notebook, but I made two signatures to get the spine wider. So it's like a journal, but it's uh, still like a notebook. Love it. use this distress ink on everything. I have also archival ink I bought recently because some of some of my uh, silicone stamps or clear clear stamps uh, they are sticky and they are easily ripping the surface of, of the pad the ink pad so I bought a proper stamping ink, archival ink, but I haven't got the, the cleaning agent you need to clean the ink off. Uh, I have used baby wipes before and it works perfectly with distress ink. It doesn't work with archival ink, so now my my uh, now my stamps. I've started to get this color. So these are the exact, I love these stamps, but this is really sticky. And you can see this, these fibers from the stamp pad, ink pad are stuck inside. So yeah, we use it now. I have, 
I have this. I like to use it on my handmade glassin bags. I also use it when I stamp something. When I want to add a stamp on top of something I want to see through. So I'm gonna make a few of these. I can use them in many other projects too. Since I moved my craft room lately, I uh, I haven't found a good filming place on my new craft room. So I have to come back into this old guest room. And uh, I don't have any of my supplies here. So I have to take my supplies with me, what I need, and run back and forth to pick up new things. And oh, it's a mess. Okay. Rip off one. I also have, have this awesome, this awesome vintage paper. I ordered something. I ordered something from uh, Mad Fox Studios, and she had wrapped the order in this. And this is so lovely, thin. It's like thin wrapping paper. I love the army green color. So. I'm probably I'm thinking if I should use a piece of this one somewhere. Then I have a book page and these are one of my favorite things to use. This is a, this is my birth year 83. So I'm uh, This is Norwegian, but I don't think I want anything, I don't need any special message here, I just want some cool, cool um, picture, I think. We'll take this one with police car. No, I can't have police car. Then it says he'll learn the rules and then break some. It's because <laughs> it seems like something illegal. Now we take the comic later with next project. I'm taking some gesso. Break it totally. Okay. No. I love old book pages, but geez, they are fragile sometimes. I actually love how this how this pattern came here. This one should dry up a little bit, but I never plan my thing, so I end up using <laughs> still wet stuff. Then I have this awesome stamp. This doesn't work so well. This is, uh, these are, these wheels are going around, but nothing happens. So I have to turn it by hand, but I have here one and a half cents. Hoping to, to stamp this one here. Let me try again. 
this is a little bit uh, it, it's not so even anymore so sometimes it doesn't it doesn't take it oh well don't know if it's so good but uh, we, we can go with that We take the first one. I have to see what I want to use and what I what I don't want to use. I have also some things I have already stamped with this to stay flat then I have tickets tickets I love tickets this could work or don't want it to be too much but one thing what's uh, missing oh, we were supposed to use this one too You have these uh, moments where you have you have so many nice things you would like to use, but you, you almost kind you almost need to remind yourself not to that you don't have to use everything at the same project. I had forgotten cheesecloth. This is a must, but I think I don't want to use too much on this one. I kind of wanted it to have a, to be flat. I don't want to use too much fabrics and I usually I use a lot of fabrics and papers together. This time I was thinking to do something else. But a little cheesecloth is never bad. If that's like the most awesome thing. Mm -hmm. Our cat is totally spoiled. I'm not sure if we need the tickets. There's quite much going on already. But I, I'm uh, quite sure I want this one here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I will use uh, all around glue, because I don't need it. I don't need it to hold so much or so well, it's just to... thinking to sew it here this cheesecloth this one has with this glassine paper kind of thing I have to use E6000 otherwise it yeah it just doesn't look good becomes like bumpy no not there Ugh. Put it here.
I don't think we should use the first page after all. I think we should use the blank page. Oh yes, we have paper clip. Now we're talking. Yeah, I think we use cheesecloth only under the price tag. I don't know. I feel it's missing something. That's too much. That's too much. You think it would need some uh, lace, button, flower, something like that? Maybe. Okay few things I picked up. This is too small, I already know it. I have flower. These, these are like normal decor flowers, so I just take the plastic thing off when if I use them on the journals. I just think this ticket is too much. I think I take off these. This is a little bit more complicated flower. There's something in between, so I have to take it all out and then glue it all together again. But this is going to look a little bit funny without the middle part, so I probably need a pearl, flat back pearl maybe, or some other small flower. So now it's flat, but it's still looks nice but something in the middle has to be thinking that green one is not fitting. Now the green and the pink are fighting, don't you think? So we need to balance it somehow. work just to add a small piece there no I don't like it I don't like it
get this a little bit larger pearls one in the middle yes I'm gonna glue it now. Did I want some stitching? Didn't I say something like that? I'm gonna quickly make some um, zigzag here. Okay, I ran into a small problem. My paper was so thin that it couldn't take the stitching so i had to glue another this is not so much stronger either but uh, i glued them together so i finally could <laughs> make the stitching i wanted i actually would have wanted to make straight zigzag straight but straight was quite rough for this paper so i decided to go with zigzag then just to spare it a little bit then or is it better without I do think it needs something I'm not sure what I'm gonna take a little bit off from here This one probably would have been best to sew, but I'm gonna glue it on the paper under and the paper uh, on top. So I think it's gonna be good. I hate this starts leaking. Then I glue the hole. If I would have only this book page, I would use white glue. But since I have this fabric and this uh, glassine paper, on this fabric I try to hit those white spots. I don't want this uh, glue to shine under the or through the thin fabric. But to secure, this is so fragile, the book page, I'm gonna add a little bit white glue under these torn edges. Because uh, when I open and close the journal, they are most likely going to suffer. I didn't actually, I love this age book page. I didn't expect 
this one to be so fragile as, as it is. We have this page ready. So until we continue later with this journal, I make something quick on the smaller. I was supposed to use, supposed to use this. I have more actually this, I have smaller ones too. Because these are quite huge, huge, huge. Not sure if this even fits here. Never ignore evil. <laughs> I like this one, I think we go with that. I'm gonna make something quick and simple. I was thinking to use this one for quotes. Some of the pages I'm gonna embellish some some i'm just gonna write quotes on right here you see how easily this rips tear is it rip or tear Took it away. The L. Here I was just thinking to do something simple, so I'm gonna glue this onto the book page. But I was thinking if I want to use the screen somewhere, green paper I mentioned earlier. Oh, it doesn't stay. And maybe then use this. Or is it too much then? I just glue this on because I need some stability here. No, I just want it to stay. I do want to use this rose, so I put it there. I'm not sure how well this white glue, because this is really slippery. Tips or this, because um, those easily rip off if they are not glued properly. Do I want 
to use a little bit ink here. I don't know, did you notice that I also use Distress Ink on this? I don't like the bright pink, so I, I just uh, make it look dirty. But I'm not sure if it fits on this project now. I might try with burlap. really not really sure I, I don't think it fits it's so different color from the from the flower it's cute but uh, maybe somewhere else this is way too wrong maybe I can use it on the other side We make it anyway, but we don't use it on this. That is what I decided. I just might use it on a blank page. But with so loose burlap, I usually try to make sure there's glue in, in the edges too, because otherwise when the time goes, you're gonna lose the, the last ones if they are not glued. If it's more, If it's burlap uh, where the fibers are thicker, you probably don't have to worry about it. But this is this comes in a big roll. It's probably meant to buy on you no know, rustic weddings. It's uh, exactly thirty centimeters, which you can just uh, put on the table or this tablecloth kind of burlap. I use it on journal covers and everything. Okay, enough with the today's journaling. This is what we made. I hope you enjoyed and got the inspiration. Please leave a comment if you have some ideas what you want to do or what you want me to do. Um, I'm always open for new ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.